경기의 경기가 이어집니다. 이 경기에서 승리한 선수가 결승에서 일본의 아즈마 세라 선수와 챔피언을 로고 배럽이 되겠습니다. 여러분 두 선수에게도 힘찬 박수를 부탁드리겠습니다. Please give our fencer the big claws. Like a beautiful melody. We're about to start our second semifinal. And let's see how the fencers got here. There's Alice Volpi of Italy. Volpi had a really tough bout in the round of 64 against Anita Blas of France. Blas is ranked 19th, so that's a tough draw in the round of 64. But she had a rough day in the pools yesterday, so she came in 62 in, in the bracket of 64. Volpi pulled it out 15-12. Then Bechai of Korea, 15-6. Tsuji of Japan, 15-13. And then got to the uh, semifinal by beating Ebert of Germany 15 to 8. Kiefer beat Zhang of Korea 15 4. Her countrymate, Masialis, 15 6. Uh, then she had a tough one against uh, Wang of China 15 10. And a relatively easy one 15 7 against Bettini of Italy. Okay. Okay. Kiefer off to a quick start. Repost from Volpi gets her first okay. touch. She likes to push. She's, she likes to be the aggressor and push her opponent down Ale. the piece. And Kiefer Four. is just so light on her okay. feet. And for those of you who remember the great boxer Ali. Muhammad Ali made a famous phrase, flow like a butterfly, sting like a bee. That's Lee Kiefer. Her footwork, she floats like a butterfly. Her blade and her okay. point, she stings like a bee. She's amazing. Um, let's look at Lee Kiefer's stats here. She's won four World Cups, nine zonal championships, three Grand Prix, and one Olympic Games. Quite amazing. Volpi, as well, has won seven World Cups. She's been a world champion. Two Grand Prix. So this is really... Oh, wow, oh, look at Kiefer. In about a half a minute, she opens up a 5-1 lead. Referee says attack okay. from the left. Volpi got caught and into counterattacking. She got... Lulled to sleep there a little. Oh, Repose from Volpi is off target. So, attack from the right. You heard some blade contact, which sometimes means it was parried, but that, that, wow. It's a straight attack from the right. And Kiefer went fishing and caught a body wire. Attack from the right. 6-1 becomes 6-3, just like that. Parry from the left and repost. Fulpi Emilio says wants a replay. Her coach, Stefano Cerioni. Says, tells her want the replay. Let's watch. Attack from the right. Oh no. There's two blade contacts. They might be right on that one. There's two blade contacts, and the second one might go to Volpi. Yes. That's a tough one. I would say for myself to the naked eye, I didn't see that second action. Let's see what the referee says. Referee still maintains power repost. So maybe he had the same naked eye that I had. Beat attack from Kiefer misses. Counter attack from Volpi scores. Okay. 
Hope he's attacking preparation off target. Referee called the halt before the action be begun. Had begun. No new action can begin after the halt. Oh boy. What a repost from close quarters by Kiefer. Let's watch. Watch the repost. Parry. Look at this. Behind the back. Amazing. Post from Volpe is no. Kiefer scores to okay. make it 9-4. Volpe's body language tells me that she's feeling a bit dejected here. She right. has to pick up her footwork pace. Attack of fair, says the referee. Attack on the blade, which gives right. Volpe the right of way. Attack from the right is no. Kiefer retreated just enough to make Volpe fall short and then made her action to make the score 10 4. Volpe's changing that play. Let's watch Kiefer retreat just enough to make Volpe fall. Well, we saw the end of that one, so at the end, Volpe missed and Kiefer was able to score. Okay. Nice attack from the right by Volpe. Kiefer just took a little break there, and I don't think she was really concentrating on that action. Sort of gave it away. I don't think she'll do that again. Beat attack from okay. Kiefer is off target. Still the attack from the right. Kiefer with a counter attack. She hits herself in the head, saying, what am I doing to Stefano Cerioni? Wow! Look at that infighting. Volpe was able to outduel Kiefer. Again! Kiefer is the master of infighting, but in this case, Volpe is twice in a row. She's almost inviting it, looking for it. Techno. Kiefer's parried. Repost. Amazing touch. 10-4 became 10-8 in a matter of seconds. Repost from Kiefer is no. I think she went for the outside target. Volpe okay. sort of angled her, up her body to make the key for miss and hit on her own remise, the second action after her attack. Wow. Six touches in a row. Well, isn't that interesting? Volpe, when, when she was hit out hit 10-4, after the 10 touch, she says, I want to change my weapon, either to take a break or she just didn't feel comfortable with the weapon. Now, she scored six in a row, and Kiefer says, this weapon's not working either, so she's going to change it. So, in my opinion, Kiefer has a distinct advantage with her footwork. She's faster and quicker. I think right now, in what, now that the bout's even again, I think okay. Kiefer has to pick up her footwork pace, because that's an advantage for her. That's just a quick action. Here's your coach, Amgad Kazbak. It's a beat attack from the right. Now, you hear the blade contact. I only heard one. If there's two, it could beat attack, power, repose. Let's, let's watch. Volpe start. Ooh, but Volpe beat right on the lower third of the blade. The rules are clear. If you beat that low on the lower third, it's a parry for the opponent. That's how low she beats. Right at the bottom. So, let's just go on to the next action. B 
heat attack from Volpe was no, it missed. Kiefer scores in the counter attack. The ebbs and flows of this bout. Attack from Volpe. Kiefer very quick. Made an attack with a disengage, but hit off target. Disengage means she went around Volpe's blade. So the riposte from Kiefer is, okay. is good. That's a great shot. You know something? Both of these fencers are great at infighting. Let's watch. Oh, he okay. missed. Again! Behind the back. I think my arm would be in a sling if I tried that. Attack from the right. It appeared that Kiefer's footwork was a little bit quicker, but it didn't matter because Volpe's blade and arm was threatening her target, moving towards it first. Kiefer attack to the low line, hit on the leg, so that's off target. He's going for the okay. flank under the arm. Volpe oh, no likes to push. Oh, Kiefer was in trouble there. Volpe okay. had the counter parry and the riposte, which she's hit on two or three times already, but this time it was off target. Bad luck for her, good luck for Kiefer. As we go to the break, 13 to 12. My oh my. That's what happens when you have number one versus number three. I'm watching this bout going, this is the best bout I've seen in a long time. So entertaining, great fencing, and just amazing infighting. Uh, just amazing to watch. Kiefer with a nice attack. A little fist pump. She got a little lucky there because Volpe missed on the repost and then she hit on that <laughs> counter repost sort of behind the back over the head. That doesn't happen by accident. Th that's been trained for years and years with her coach. Someone just doesn't do that naturally. So we're ready to start. Second period. That was a lot of action and a lot of touches for one three minute period. Volpe came, Volpe came out of the box hot there. Tried to surprise Kiefer with, a, with a explosive attack in the middle of the piece. It's a yellow card for covering target, says the referee. The middle of the piece there, it's hard to see because the, 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 there's not a lot of contrast. It's the four meter area right okay. in the middle where the, between the two on guard right. lines. Right. Attack from Kiefer, she's one okay. away from the gold medal bout. States is into the gold medal bout where she will face Azumi Sara of Japan. Number one versus hey, number ten. And that was a great, great bout. 
Stay with us. The first men's semifinal will be up shortly.